There's a good quote from Warren Buffett who says, only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked. And what he means by that is, in any financial market, when there's a downturn, the companies who have been taking on too much risk get exposed. And we've seen that it's the companies who are centralized, who use leverage and are opaque, so we can't see what they're doing. Those are the ones that blow up and die. That isn't just referring to crypto companies. In traditional financial markets, banks do this all the time. Banks take our money and use it for stuff we don't know about and fail. But then when banks mess up, governments will step in and bail them out. So for example, the US government spent 787 billion of taxpayers' money to bail out banks. But with crypto, it's different because crypto is the separation of money and state. There are no governments in crypto land right now. So it operates as a global free market. The downside of that is that there's not gonna be a government bailout. But the good thing is that the crypto ecosystem is actually healthier now in the sense that it's a free market where frauds get exposed and they don't get bailed out by the government with tax taxpayers money as a reward for their bad behavior. So the way I see it, yeah, is that the crypto ecosystem is like a jungle where individual species in the jungle might die, but the entire ecosystem will survive and thrive beyond that. So the market will heal itself. And in the long term, incidents like this will cause people to move towards more trusted systems. A more trusted system is decentralized finance, where we keep our funds in our own wallets. Also something else called proof of reserve, where exchanges will have to cryptographically prove that they have the amount of money to pay everyone back if they need to. Government regulation will enforce proof of reserve, but human behavior and the lack of trust in centralized exchanges will cause people to move towards decentralized finance. So DeFi is the opposite of this evil financial trinity. It's fully decentralized, meaning that there is no one central authority who you need to trust your money to, who can spend it in ways that you don't know about and without your consent. And DeFi is the opposite of opaque. It's fully transparent. You can literally see where your money is on chain. For FTX, people thought their money was on the platform, on the exchange, but it wasn't. They gave it to Alameda Research who blew it all. It's impossible for DeFi protocols like Uniswap, Aave, MakerDAO, Compound to do this. Their rules are coded in. You can't bribe or get favors or manipulate the protocol. It will treat you equally whether you have $100 or $100 million on there. So it's true that the code could fail or get hacked. That's why I would never recommend putting 100% of your funds into DeFi right now. But I think that trusting code is a lot safer than trusting humans. You don't have to trust other people like Sam Bankman-Fried and FTX. Remember that the most empowering frame that you can operate in is one where you have custody of your own assets. This means that you now have the responsibility for taking care of your own financial future. So when you move your funds out of an exchange into a software wallet like Metamask, where you can use a DeFi protocol, or into a hardware wallet like Trezor or Ledger, it can be a bit nerve wracking at the beginning because it is something that you've never done before. If that's you, then follow me because I will be making some videos in the near future that will teach you how to do this safely.